it, it really has. And we're going to take a closer look at some of the numbers, precipitation, snow, rain, what we've seen so far this year coming up in just a bit. As you're stepping out the door, though, this morning, things have dried out nicely after some of the scattered showers we saw yesterday. Upper 50s here by noon. We're going to see a few spotty, isolated storms and showers, but a much better chance of getting some wet weather by the time you get home, right around 5 o'clock. If you want to take the dog out, it might be a little wet out there. More storms possible later. There is going to be a marginal risk for a little severe weather. With these storms, two of the biggest risks would be, again, the larger hail, the damaging winds. We're going to be in the 70s by Wednesday, though, so there is a little light at the end of the tunnel, and we'll see more sunshine by midweek. Right now, though, quite a bit of cloud cover from our Viero camera in Lyman. With that sunrise, you're going to find quite a few clouds. Right now, 55 in Denver, 52 both in Commerce City and in Thornton. You're at 49 right now in Parker, so it's a pretty nice start. Some low to mid 40s on the west side of town. You can see how much cloud cover we're dealing with here from Denver north to Fort Collins, but again, things have dried out. Still some rain showers south and east of us there along I-70 into Burlington, some wet roads. Speaking of, that's going to be one of the spots, including all the areas here in green, where we have that risk for a few severe storms. So we'll be tracking likely some severe thunderstorm warnings that'll pop up this afternoon. Here's the timing of it. And again, 50s this morning, potentially a little rain through mid morning in spots with some of this cloud cover and then more building clouds and scattered thunderstorms developing by this afternoon. And you can see where things start to get a little more active late afternoon, early evening. So unfortunately, just in time for the commute, we could see some areas of heavy rain that can always make for a dangerous drive. 50s by that point, upper 50s by about 530, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock and in the mountains, even a little of that mixing with some snow well above about 10,000 feet closer to some of those peaks. Overnight, things will then start to clear out. You'll see some drier weather here in town by about 930 this evening, and then early tomorrow morning we will be waking up again to quite a bit of cloud cover tomorrow afternoon. Again, we'll do it again. A few more storms and showers possible on Tuesday. Things start to get a little drier by midweek. By Wednesday, it's going to be more isolated thunderstorm activity, and it's also quite a bit warmer. We'll see more sunshine. That's going to help to warm things up. And Thursday, highs are likely, Jason, by that point, close to about 80 degrees. Heading into the weekend, though, there is still that chance for a few springtime, late-day storms. What a season it's been. And again, we'll take a closer look at that coming up in a few minutes.